Hello Eternum. A lot of people have reached out to me after my first video asking me about the luck stat in New World. Uh, they want to know how much does it help you get better drops or do you need it to farm for watermark upgrades or other activities like that. And while the data miners have been really good in this game, they provide some valuable information about how luck works and a lot of information about how other systems work. I haven't seen anyone try to test this uh, with any decent sample size. So before I try to give you an answer, I wanted to find out more for myself. So in order to run this test, I took the data I had uh, running the luck set at Faye the Last Protector, farmed another 20-ish uh, hours or more, and uh, collected all the data, including the rarity of the drops and other information like that. And I did something uh, rather painful, uh, to be honest. I took off all of my luck gear uh, and switched to a setup with 0% luck. And despite knowing that I will most likely get worse drops, I took this setup and grinded as much of the elite uh, mob as possible in order to gather the data. And after another 308 kills here, which took probably 20 hours, um, I managed to grab what I think is a decent amount of sample size. So when I answer those questions, um, I can feel a little bit confident uh, that I'm not giving you guys the wrong answers. Before I go over the conclusions, I want to quickly thank everyone who uh, liked, subscribed, and left a comment down below. It helped the video do very well despite not having a clickbait title, not having a clickbait thumbnail, and things like that. So thank you so much. So after 60 hours of farming, um, I compiled the data, and here it is. So with full rarity sets, uh, I managed to get a lot more blue drops, um, significantly higher epic drops. So I actually got 3.41% higher epic drop rate than um, with no rarity setup. But for the name drops, I actually didn't see much of a difference. So even with my large sample size, it's not large enough to save with certainty that um, rarity helps or it doesn't help uh, getting the name drops. So that's something to consider. And ultimately, I got more drops when I ran full rarity set, 5.7% uh, higher chance of getting an actual drop. So uh, I found that very interesting. And another interesting note is that I did manage to get a legendary drop. Uh, I got it during the time when I tested with no luck whatsoever. So I was very fortunate to find this uh, because previously nobody knew. Uh, for mining example, if you don't have enough luck, you actually can't get the rare procs. But for normal gear drop, nobody knew if you could get legendary drops without any luck gear. And the fact that I got one without any luck gear means that it is already on the drop table. So. Ultimately, uh, looking at the difference, you can kind of decide for yourself how worth it it is to uh, get yourself luckier. Do keep in mind that um, the data down below is gathered using really, really high uh, percent luck gear. So if you consider the fact that I have luck on every piece, uh, whether or not you have luck on a certain piece doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. So in conclusion, would I recommend you get luck on all your gear? Uh, yes, it does in fact help, uh, at least according to the data I got. And it helps a little bit. So while it looks like I got a lot more epics, uh, that is with luck on every single piece of the gear, including the trophies. So if you are missing luck on a piece or two, uh, and you worry about you're missing out on so much drops, you don't have to worry about that because the actual difference each individual piece seem to make doesn't look that bad. And if you're worried that your luck is not high enough to get legendaries, even after you max your watermark, uh, you don't have to worry about that either because you could still get legendaries. Even you have zero luck 
on any of your gear and you have no luck trophies whatsoever so yeah ultimately it's going to be up to you i say get as much luck as you can but you don't have to sweat over it as much once again thank you so much for watching uh, commenting subscribing etc to support my channel and for the next video i was going to release a crafting guide but with the release of the ptr test servers um, i found out that a lot of the crafting systems are being uh, revamped with the exp changed with the certain recipes changed so even if i release the guide it will be outdated very soon but i will uh, go over the results of me testing in the ptr and try to help you prepare for what's uh, coming up next in new world so thank you so much for watching and please take care